Did you see the hashtag never spins? Do you guys see that over here? Yeah. yeah. A couple of people, a couple of people. So if you don't know what it is, it's like people basically started a hashtag, white teenagers basically started a hashtag saying they're never going to drink in weather spins again. They go, I am never drinking in weather spins again. So that's how everyone sounds to me that annoys me, by the way. That's how everyone sounds. They go, I'm never drinking in weather spins ever again because of the way they treat their staff. I am not going there because of the way they treat their staff. The irony is, ladies and gentlemen, they're tweeting that from a fucking iPhone. <laughs> I don't know if you know anything about how they treat people in iPhone factories, but it's a lot fucking worse than Weatherspoons. Right? I'm sure that people in Weatherspoons want to throw themselves out the window. I'm sure that fucking Curry Thursday is a nightmare, right? However, these people in these factories actually throw themselves out of the window. They actually throw themselves out. And no one's going to do that in Weatherspoons, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want to know why? Have you seen the state of the fucking stairs? <laughs> Looking the way I am, I've given up on dating. I'm done. 22 years old. Never experienced it. Never been on the roller coaster. Fuck the roller coaster, right? I'm not going on it, right? I'm done, basically. But what I want to do is I want to take this opportunity and make a business opportunity out of it, ladies and gentlemen, right? I want to help lesbians who know that they're lesbians but just need one more cock to get them over the line. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you know what I mean? Just to make it more convincing. You know, just to make it more convincing when they come out, like. Mum, I'm gay. I'm like, are you sure, honey? Yeah, do you not remember Ben? You know what I mean? <laughs> just, just to make it easy for him, right? <laughs> Don't want to do this No, uh, can I ask a quick question, Frankie? Um, you have a bottle of coffee in, Frankie? No. <laughs> I mean, no, I have. Um, so yeah, I went coffin shopping over lockdown. <laughs> not for myself, I want to make that clear. I'm not that emo, but I'm like, I want to prepare. <laughs> I don't know, that was fucking weird, do you know what I mean? But I know, I, I went coffin shopping, right? Which is a weird experience. Because you go into the, the funeral parlour and they give you like a catalogue of fucking coffins to look through. It's like a depressing version of Argos, otherwise known as Argos. But the thing is, and I, I thought, fuck it, I'm so unlucky. I'm so unlucky in every situation, every endeavour in my life, I'm unlucky, right? So I think, fuck it, I'm going to end it all. I'm going to end it all in style, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking autoerotic asphyxiation. Does anyone know what I'm talking about here? Yeah! Lots of kids. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I did a gig on Friday. I did a gig on Friday in Bedford. One guy cheered thinking that everyone else was going in. He was like, wait, oh, just me? Shit. Um, that's an awkward car ride home, honey.